Good morning and welcome back to our channel. Today I am going to be making a Buffalo Wild Wings garlic parmesan pasta that I have seen all over TikTok and all over social media and so I just had to try it. It calls for um, chicken breast but chicken thighs were what was on sale and I definitely do not buy things when they are not on sale. So here I am just getting, and I doubled this recipe. I will link the recipe that I used below. Please keep in mind that I doubled it and I did use chicken thighs. I also changed the dressing a little bit. I'll talk about that when I come to that. So I doubled it. There's the dressing. I ended up using the Kroger brand garlic parmesan buffalo wild wings knockoff simply because, number one, it had half the sodium of the name brand buffalo wild wing sauce and in videos of other people that I have watched of this the big complaint is that it's really really salty so David having to watch his salt I definitely wanted to be careful of that so this was a super huge hit but also the Kroger brand um, dressing was sorry words are hard <clears throat> I'm not really feeling that great today so bear with me um, it was also on sale and it ended up being like almost $4 cheaper because I had to buy two of them. You just add the chicken, the dressing, the cream cheese, and the milk to the crock pot and set it and okay, forget so it. Okay, so it's been a few hours and it's snapped right now. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to stir it or not. I mean, just to be honest, I shared a recipe, but I never actually looked at it. <laughs> I've just been watching videos. Um, but the sides are getting kind of crunchy, so crispy like over here, you know? And my kids will be like, yeah, it's burnt. So I think I'm going to stir it and see what happens. If you've been around here long, you know that I don't really follow recipes. <laughs> At least I don't read them all. Anyway, stirring it was totally fine. Nothing crazy happened. Um, this was super easy and super delicious. Doubling it did make a whole lot, though. So it was a good thing. Everybody really liked this. Definitely and recommend. Then I also got, um, oh, let me show you. I got the, the bread machine out again. I tried to just use the Sunbeam one. Um, I seem to have better luck with that, but I accidentally grabbed this one's basket, so we traded it out. Um, I probably am, I probably am going to get the Sunbeam one out too, and I don't know, I, I really want to make these work, um, but I haven't found a recipe yet that I like. I haven't had luck with them. I goof, I keep goofing up the crust, so I'm thinking that I'm going to have it mix the dough and then maybe it's not supposed to be super hot here today i don't know i haven't even been outside we haven't we didn't sleep good last night and we haven't really had a good day um i had to make some phone calls today to get my kids are behind on their dentist appointments because of winter and then summer flew by and i just kept thinking oh yeah i need to call and then i didn't but anyways they're all going to be knocked out in the next week here or the next couple weeks each kid has a they can't all get in together but um, they need to get in before I start working back in the cafeteria so anyway there's that um yeah so we have football all night this week or all week this week it's supposed to storm tonight though so I don't know if they'll have it or not we'll just have to see we have to send Adam with his phone just in case he has to call us or we have to call him and say, hey, we're coming to get you. Anyway, today the smalls were not in a great mood. I actually slept like a newborn last night and they're asleep now, so. Mm. But Mondays are always a hard day for us. It doesn't matter if it's summer vacation. It doesn't matter if it's school time. Mondays are always a rough day. Even my grandma this morning, I was talking to her because um, I haven't got to see them for a while. I was really sick. The week before last week and then last week I was still kind of sick and my grandpa was having some dizziness going on so I didn't want to give it to him so I'm hoping that next week I will be able to see them anyways I was talking to her and she was one time over the summer we went over to their house on a Monday because it was the only day of the week that we could get together because grandpa's got appointments and stuff trying to figure out his dizziness and um it was atrocious she was like wow your kids are really whiny on mondays i was like yes it's mondays are awful 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 so we try never to go anywhere on mondays <laughs> and we had a really 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 busy weekend so they're extra cranky today and ashley slept horrible last night so 
I'm gonna get this cleaned up and I have to tackle this mess of, we didn't even eat in our living room and Ashley found crumbs under the couch. Cushions, like when they took them off and played the floor as lava. Yeah, but nobody even eats in here. Obviously, the boys eat in here after I go to sleep. <coughs> Excuse me. I let the bread mix in the bread machines, but I'm not gonna, tr I'm, I'm gonna try not baking it in them today. Um, I'm gonna, it's not super hot today. So I'm just gonna bake them in the oven and see how that goes. Because the problem with that I'm having with the bread machines is that the crust gets really hard. So I want them to be, I want, I want them to be out of like, the, my kids won't eat them because the crust is too hard. So there's no point making them if my kids aren't gonna eat it. So we're gonna try this way. And then if they don't eat this, I think I'm just gonna quit for a while. <laughs> Pick it out outside. So I just got out my mixer to shred up the chicken. And here, I really hate to do it with a fork. It takes forever. And if you know me, you know that I don't got time to be standing there mixing up a bunch of stuff forever. Something I would do different next time is take the chicken out and mix it up and then put it back in. Because splattered juices everywhere. And it's really hot and it got on my face. And what fun. We went with the mini bow ties. Because I don't got to cut those up. What? Do they only want the short A sounds? No way. So math? Yeah. Good job. Crayon. A. A. Is that an A? Which, what's the word? Crayon. A. Yep. This was super gratifying to me to dump these in there. I don't know why, but it was fun. I liked mixing it together. This was a real easy meal to cook. I definitely really liked this. All the kids liked it, which that rarely ever happens. David liked it. It didn't bother his hands. I love crockpot meals, especially coming up. I'm going to go back to working at the cafeteria. And so I love to just have quick and easy things that I can make ahead. And like I said, this made so much. I can't remember which day I made this this week. I feel like I made it Monday. And it's now Thursday. And there's not enough leftover any longer for everybody to have some tonight. Um, so I'll have, I, I have to make something else tonight for dinner. But this, this was great. I will absolutely make it again. Highly, highly recommend it. And so now I am cutting up the garlic bread that I made. This was a huge hit. I will absolutely be making this again. I will link the recipe that I used below. And then to that base white sandwich bread recipe, I added onion powder, garlic powder, and parsley. Okay, so I had one of the loaves didn't rise. I'm pretty sure that was my fault. I was trying, I what I did was I used the bread machine, right? Booker, booker, so for the second booker. loaf, I don't think booker, I, booker. you have a booger? Thank you. Mommy. Booker. Oh, I have a booger? Yeah. Oh, it's butter. It's not a booger. It's butter. I'm not sure. Anyways. Um, what I did was I don't think that I let the yeast activate long enough before I dumped it in the bread machine for the second loaf because it was almost nap time and I was just like, Ugh, and I had all, I, so I just, I don't think I waited long enough. The other loaf turned out absolutely amazing. I will definitely, I will leave this link below to this recipe because this is the one that worked out for me. And what worked was mixing it in the bread machine because I don't have a stand mixer. I mixed it in the bread machine and I laid it out on the table. We were rushing to get around to school so I didn't work for that. I laid it out on the table with some flour, rolled it out with a rolling pin and rolled it up like this lady on this blog does for this recipe. And then I put it in a glass pan and put it in the end and then I baked it that way. But before it tracks that, I put it in a glass can, covered it up with a towel while we went to school. I let it rise for about an hour. And like I said, the one loaf did a great rise, this one. And it is beautiful. It cut beautifully. The crust is perfect. Allie even ate the crust, and she hates crust. And then this guy, this guy right here got cut up, and I put butter on the top. And then um, David will eat these as, like, garlic bread. Um, 
they're about perfect for him. So, he'll still get eaten. The pasta is delicious. It is a little salty, so I can only imagine how super salty the Buffalo Wild Wings sauce is because it has twice the sauce, twice the sodium. So, you have to go poop? Okay. All right, guys, so what do we think of the new dinner? Amazing! You would make eat it again? You even like the bread? All right, Adam and Cole ate leftover barbecued pork earlier because they thought they were having practice, but the weather ended up crappy and it got canceled. What do you think, Ash? Is it good? I'm Allie's not pretty not picky eating. lately, so she's her her liking it is is good. She's a tough sell. I might not eat the rest of this because I'm gonna eat the rest of this, so I might get okay. Old, this is dinner. Just reminding you. Okay. All right. So do we give it one thumbs up, half a thumb? Good job. Thumbs up. Awesome. Thumbs up. 10 million, 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 million,